Hello guys, this is Rise69501 and welcome to my futures and monthly recap. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, uh, my last video, the last comic book that I gave you my thought was issue number 8, as we see here. So I'm going to give you my recap uh, of from issue number 9. Wait, wait, I did something here. Issue number 9. 10, issue number 11, and number 12. Ah, well, so, oh, before I start, I, uh, before I start, I want to apologize for my lateness on this making, I mean, doing this video. If I tell you the reason why is the lateness, or my lateness for this video, you're not going to believe it. I know. Well, are you ready? <laughs> okay. I forgot all about it. <laughs> I actually forgot to do this video, to do this video recap from issue number 9 to up to issue number 12. I forgot all about it. I, I, I realized that I forgot about it because the other, the other day, I think was yesterday, was today, yeah, yesterday, uh, or last week, it don't matter. Uh, I was looking on my playlist, on my, on my channel, so and then, and then I saw the, the two videos that I have with the Futures end. That was looking for issue uh, for video number three. And I look, I look, I look. Then I realized, like, oh boy, I forgot all about it. So that's why I'm right here, right now, doing this video. So I want to apologize for my lateness. Like I said, I forgot all about it. Sorry. So. Let's get started. Well, issue number nine. Okay, on issue number nine, what you see on the cover is actually what's going on on the inside, more or less. Uh, we see that Louis Lane, she's on the plane going to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we see Drifter, that he's still on the Cadmus Island trying to recuperate when he got shot and he cannot walk anymore and the little kid, pain the ass, trying to tell him what's going on, what he's supposed to do, because they, because this little girl, the Cadmus, they need Rifter, because he has the power to identify the aliens from humans. Yes, more or less, that's, that's what it is. So, on top of that, uh, she, the little girl gives him a tour, Grog Cadmus. And they went to the section where there's the prisons, where they have a bunch of people in jails. And the thing is that all the people that they have in jail, they are, they are all the superheroes from Earth 2. I'm not kidding. We got uh, Power Girl, we got Hot Girl, we got uh, a bunch of characters here. I'm going to show you. Look at that. Look at that. All those superheroes from Earth 2, they all locked up in the Cadmus side. So then from there, uh, we go to, oh, and the thing is that they, the people that they use to kind of like uh, security guards, they are all OMAC. Yes, you know, remember the OMAC from the, from the beginning of the New 52? Well, that's it, OMAC. So, God. Stupid eyelash. I got a eyelash here that's been bugging me. Sorry about this. Finally. What was I? Oh, yeah. So from there we go to the prison where uh, we see Made talking to her father because her father was kind of like a spy that was working, giving information and weapons to the bad guys through the war between Earth 2 and Prime Earth. And then suddenly, uh, Rampage shows up, as we see on the cover. 
trying to free a guy, a prisoner. But then at the same time, Superman shows up, the masked Superman. And there's a big fight, which eventually she uh, eventually uh, Rampage escapes with with uh, with Ethan with Ethan Boyer. That was it. I mean, we have like little. I mean, this issue has little little storylines. They just give you bits and pieces of the whole thing. And then from there we go to New York City. <laughs> where we see Mr. Terrific, that he's looking the android that he found from the bomb, uh, from the homeless guy that come from the future, which happens to be Batman Beyond, that he was dressed up as, as a homeless, with a car with a bunch of junk. So between all that junk, he brought, well, he didn't bring it. He just came with him through the portal to this era. Because she was after him. But uh, Batman Beyond, he ended up a little bit too late. He went to the past, but he should have gone a little bit farther back, but he didn't. So a lot of stuff already happened. So the thing is that from there we go to uh, because Mr. Terrific, he's kind of like, he's in love with this Android technology because Beyond. His imagination. Actually, this is the technology that he that he thought about it in theory. So I mean, he just he's in love with this technology. He can see all the all the good things that he can do with it. Uh, let's see what else we see. That remember on my previous video that uh, that the doctor chopped Hawkman's arm to attach it to Frankenstein. Well, no, he did that. The thing is that. Hawkman, he was not dead, he just woke up. Because he has a psych metal on his system that for some reason he cannot die. And whatever extremities he lost, like a leg or an arm or a wing, well eventually will re-roll, he will roll back. So that's pretty cool power. So that's, this is kind of like the first time where Hawkman and Frankenstein, they kind of meet each other. Because Hawkman was part of the Stormwatch, which was the spaceship on my previous video that got destroyed. So, he was the only survivor, according to the story. Now, this is issue number 9. So, it was okay. Issue. Now, issue number 10. Uh, I mean, the story is getting better, better, better. Uh, now, this comic book starts with a bang. We see Superman fighting. Uh, the mask. Superman. Yeah. Look at that. I like this page. It will look so cool on that t-shirt. Awesome. Uh, so it's kind of like he, he went to a lab on an empty building, but the people who was working in the building, he just left off, so he, didn't, he did not know about it. Then from there we go to the, the bar where we see uh, this bunch of guys, they're trying to get into Mr. Terrific building. To, to steal something which, ha which happens to be the android because it's Batman Beyond. Uh, so they're talking with this bunch of black guys. I said, look, we can get in because I got the inside information how to get in, how to get out, where we should go, we should go here, there, and everywhere, and nobody gonna see us. Uh, top of that, the bartender, he's listening to all that conversation. Uh, because the, the bartender, he happens to be, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he happens to be, he was part of the Titans. Because according to the story, all the Titans are there, including the bartender. Which the bartender, I believe, he's Red Hood. If I'm not mistaken. If I am, let me know. So he's kind of like curious about it. And then from there, uh, we go to... Uh, we go to the we go to other space where Artemis and Hawkman they get into big argument, exchange of ideas. It was pretty cool. Nothing much there to go around. And then we go back to the Catboat Islands where Rifter he got punched by the invisible Omen, which nobody believes that it was the invisible Omen. So well, he got his ass. He got his ass kicked big time. And then 
there is a good part of this comic book where I really like is that this woman she's working on the shelter, give, uh, giving away food to the homeless, and that woman happens to be, you will never guess, yep, no, it's not her, happens to be Big Barda, <laughs> and the and the, the girl was looking at that it was a spine of Big Barda, but it happens to be Emiko. If some of you doesn't know who Emiko is, well, Emiko is Green Arrow's half sister. The Emiko that appears on the Green Arrow series right here. The one, the woman that has the bow and arrow, well, that's uh, Green Arrow's half sister. Her name is Emiko. Just in case uh, you wonder what good Emiko is, well, she appears on this issue, on this series actually. So, kind of like inside information. <laughs> So issue number 11, uh, the story is getting better. Check this out. Well, issue number 11, we see what we see on the cover is exactly what's going on the inside. So here we see that <coughs> we see uh, Bulu. Yeah, the same Bulu that on the beginning of the new 52. Well, here she's, she, I don't know if it's the artist or not, but she looks skinny. She's, she, looks, uh, she looks like a junkie. Excuse my impression, but that's the only thing I can, how I can express it. They draw her real bad, real bad, skinny, sick, ugh. It's like she was in an apartment with a bunch of bad guys. She was kicking ass all over, the, all over the place. Nothing much there going on. This is kind of like a introduction, a little bit more of voodoo. From here we go to other space, we see Hawkman and Frankenstein and the rest of the team, they crash landed in the planet because they were following a signal that Hawkman has on his pocket, which kind of was, was like kind of like a beeper, but supposed to, uh, they, each member of the Stone Wars have that beeper. When once he's in trouble, press the button so the rest of the team will go where that person pressed or turn on the beeper. Well, the thing is that, well, apparently, none of none, not all of the Stone Wars team were there. So they were following the signal of that people. And they crash landed in a planet where that member of Stone Wars is. And then from there we go to, we're still working, we're still reading about Mr. Terrific, that he's still in love with that technology. And then, he's, and then he decides to appear on a TV show, kind of like a talk show like Barbara Waters, kind of. Well, they just tell you about his technology, how he's going to be so good, and everybody should have it because he's a revolution. And all that business crap. So, and then from there we go to the sea, uh, Madagascar Sea, where another grand joy shows up. There are a lot of androids in here. And he just kind of like sink the, the ship. I didn't know why it was here. Maybe that's some other soup club, but and see why it's there. And then from there we go, we, we go to the Justice League Space Tower. So in five years from now, they already built it, which was cool. So and then here, the thing is that here we see all the, the Justice League members, including the new Superman. So uh, let's see what else. The thing is that they are talking with a firestorm, you know, the firestorm they use two different person that they combine and they become firestorm. So they were, they want them, they want firestorm to be part of the team. The team, the thing is that the two persons, which I forgot, they name, uh, they don't like each other because the Justice League did not know the reason why Renato died. And right there on the tower of Justice League Tower in outer space, they watched tower, that's the word. Uh, they found out why Firestone did, can, did not get there in time to prevent Renato's death when he when Renato was asking for help. And eventually they explained, they said, look, I did it, I screw up. I didn't pay attention to his call because I was having fun with a woman. So I have, so kind of like, well, you know, well, I forgot, sorry. Well, he sorry, well, got Renato's death. So, it was a good issue. 
Oh yeah. So the last one, issue number 12, uh, here it is. Okay. Now this was really, I mean by all to issue number 10, the story gets really But this one gets a lot better. So the thing is that uh, here we see the team, Frankenstein, Hawkman, Artemis, they are, they are there, crash landed in that planet, and there's a big fight going on, as you can see here. You know, no matter where, where they go, they always fight. Uh -huh. It's like trouble, they just follow. Uh -huh. So and the thing is that the person that has uh, the beeper, well, he was part of the team, but for some reason doesn't recognize Hawkman. So from there we go to, uh, let's see what else, ah, then from here we go, uh, we go and see Voodoo again. Now here, Voodoo, she looks more healthy. She gained some weight from issue number 11 to issue number 12. And 10 pages, she gained some weight. <laughs> she even have a new haircut. <laughs> so uh, from there we see that, that Rampage, after she escaped with that cycle from the prison, you know, she's trying to, to regain herself again because she becomes a uh, rampage, kind of like, kind of like Hulk, but she wants to, but she, for some reason, she stayed rampage permanently. And she said, look, I want you to cure me in a way where I can be a beautiful woman again, not this rampage. And the guy said, okay, fool. Cool, fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And the guy just talking, 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 till he get Rampage, till, till Rampage lost her patient. And the guy say, okay, fine. Since uh, you don't want to listen to what I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna cure you, I'm gonna give you the, the cure, you're gonna be back to normal, and you can live your life. No, well, actually he did. He just, he kind of like, he planned like a device on her head. We're supposed to, Reinvert the from rampage to become a normal woman. Well, actually, what he did was just kind of like that, that thing on her head happens to be like a bomb, and he just blow up the whole building. Well, actually, the whole house where he has all the, the, the left. So we don't know if rampage is there or not. Now, from here, now this is the part where it, where he gets interested. After the little study with rampage. We move 35 years in the future, not five years. We're talking 35 plus five, that makes 40 years in the future. So 40 years in the future, we see that somebody is being feed or fed through, through a, a pipe, liquid, liquid food. Kind of, yeah. Anyway, and then we see Frankenstein, some of the superheroes, they are like half men, half android, half of everything, but. So, the thing is that they went to this specific cell to, cell block, to, to grab a specific prisoner that they're gonna take it from one room to the next. And I was wondering about, I was wondering about this character, they say, this, this cannot be him. But maybe I am wrong. But if it's not him, I'm very surprised. Well, the thing is that that prisoner happens to be, oh, they take that prisoner to a, a room to see a guy that is that is being that he's lying down on a on a medical bed, which he's being hooked up with a bunch of machine. He lost an arm. And he has the Batman shield, kind of like a, not the regular Batman armor. And the guy, um, the prisoner happens to be, which I believe happens to be, the Joker. Look at it. So this is the Joker 40 years in the future. So I guess he finally managed to put his, his face on, unless uh, that is someone else. But this, this was the end of issue 12, going 40 years in the future. So I guess uh, finally, between the next 40 years, the Joker found his face, or he finally meet his daughter, and put and they got into and they fight or whatever. She finally, he finally took his face off his the Joker's daughter and put him on. 
because it's there. I don't see any tape or clippers or as we know. So that's I mean, the hard to admit, the Joker has a tough skin. <laughs> so so far that's what it is on issue number twelve. My recap from issue number nine to issue number twelve. And I have to say that up to now, I will give it the whole four issue, four out of five. It was fun. It's been the the story. It's been real good. It might be a little bit complicated sometimes, but if you are new that you're trying like I don't know if I should try to read it or not. Well, you can wait for the trade, and because it reads it reads a lot better if you have like four or eight. At least from issue number one to up to issue number twelve, you have them all, and you can read it all one after the other. I think it makes a lot a lot of sense. Although it's still a weekly comic book, but I would say that will it will read a lot better in a trade. Or if you can get all the comic books, I hope that you can find them all and read it all one after the other. So it's a good story though. I'm having fun reading the new Fifty Two Future Set. It's it's not perfect. But overall, I'm having fun with it. Well, guys, this is it. I hope you like this video. Till later. Bye.